got us some popcorn, man. Need popcorn for a podcast, dog. You over here getting mad at me, bro. Like, you no, gotta... man, because you were eating loud as shit in the podcast. Bro, we gotta have snacks. Mm. You don't have to be loud. Get away from the fucking mic when you popcorn, man. <laughs> You must not watch our last episode, the beginning of our last episode. I actually have not gotten around to watching it. Bro, how the fuck I'm, na- I'm editing all this shit? You're not even looking at it. That's true. I mean, I'm trusting you. You're fired. I'm trusting you, You're bro. fired. You know how narcissistic it is to sit here and listen to our own podcasts? You're fired. I'm looking for a new co-host now. <clears throat> It's a little cringy, dog. Yeah, but all right, man. Tell him, tell him to leave comments as if you think it's very important for me to stop eating. Leave a comment, and I'll probably ignore it. But if you think that it's kind of funny that I'm eating in every podcast, leave a comment, and I will uh, put it in his in Juju's face. Let him know. That they they expect a badger to eat. Yeah, uh, all right. And you have cut me off from the jerky. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, I forgot about you, jerky, bro. But crunch on some popcorn in uh, lieu of jerky. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be moving up on the jerky. So I'm gonna be selling in a farmer's market, hopefully soon. Like in February. Are we legal yet? Huh? Are you legal yet? Can we like... Oh, make, make it in my actual business now? Mm-hmm. Not yet. I'm getting, a, I'm getting me a logo made, getting business cards made, getting a little mini website, all of that stuff. Yeah, there, there's going to be some uh, delicious jerky put out by our podcast. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully, I can start YouTube too. We'll do a promo code and everything. Oh yeah. We'll give you like a, a little bit of a discount if you listen to our uh, podcast. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of jerky, I tried to make. Remember that maple teriyaki I made one time? I do. Yeah, you know I mean, so I try to do the same thing, right? But someone asked for spicy, all right, and I'm like, I'm not gonna make spicy you know, like spicy maple teriyaki. And then I was thinking, like, maybe I can, all right. Oh boy, I fucked up royally. You made it because the pepper I put in there accidentally spilled out into the whole jerky. So, it's hot as shit. I was on, I wanted this a little bit of cayenne. Just a tiny, small little bit, you know what I mean? Whole shit just dumped out. The top popped off, just dumped out, and I'm just looking at the jerky, I'm like, I give up. I'm not making jerky again. You but know what I, you do? What? You sell that as an LTO. Like, bro, for a limited time, I have this insanely hot jerky. Yeah. If you want to try this insanely jer- hot jerky, you have to try it right now for a limited time. Yeah, but I want this uh, flavor. You know what I mean? I, still, yeah. I might just go with maple teriyaki, though. I'll yeah, just- but, like, it is a flavor. You got maple teriyaki, and it's insanely hot. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. That- That's what I'd do. Yeah. But, you I'd know, tell I'm them it's still, a limited I'm, time only flavor. I'm still starting, you know what I mean? So I need to get... You know, Mountain Dew just didn't come out making flavors, man. They were just regular Mountain Dew for a little bit. Until people was, like, slowly getting tired of this shit. You know what I mean? That, then that's when you do it, you know what I mean? When people think you fucking wash the fuck up, you drop a bomb on them. That's how, that's how it works, bro. Taco that Bell. black Mountain Dews. Exactly. Age. Like, Taco Bell's done it and they fucking went up. Burger King hasn't done it in fucking years, and look where they're at. Still a point where they call you know, their foods down. That's what I love about Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. It's not even Mexican food, man. They've had their. I, I, 
I didn't say I wanted me. Nobody goes, I want Mexican food. Let's Bro, go to Taco Bell. Exactly. But people, Nobody does that. People, people, people want Taco Bell. And the people, reason I want Taco Bell is because Taco Bell is the most... Realist like, motherfuckers. Taco Realist Bell is... Fucking. Like... I'm glad they responded to peer pressure. Like... They were like, we're, we changed our menu. And then everybody was like, no, you didn't. And they were like, okay, no, we didn't. I like that. Mm-hmm. I'm a real fan. Bro, you know what the most gangster shit ever was? When they hired all these people named Ronald McDonald to try their breakfast out. I'm like, that's the most savage shit ever, bro. And McDonald's came out saying, we have no comment. Because legally they can't do anything, for one. <laughs> and, like, what can they say? Like, oh, acknowledge, acknowledge them and stuff? Well, I'll tell you, though. So. Dude, it's like... It's like they have, like... They have some kid in there designing their food. I swear, here's what they did. It's like, oh, dude, we're going to take a Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> <Make it a taco. laughs> We're gonna turn it into a taco. We're gonna put chicken nuggets on it. <laughs> it's like, then we're gonna wrap it with a tortilla, cheese, melted cheese, another tortilla, another Dorito. And like, like I said, it's literally like somebody's in there smoking hella weed. And you know what's good? You know what's crazy about Taco Bell right now? They responded to the whole vegetarian and vegan movement without being out there like Burger King and shit. They just put options on there. Like potatoes and black beans instead of like the meat. Right. And like, I'm gonna be real, I had one and it was fucking lit. Yeah, th- dude, like, their yeah. vegetarian shit is actually good. Yes. It's actually good. Like, bro, like, I never forget. You remember, you remember when I was... Because it's not shit trying to be other shit. That's why it's good. Yes. That's where you fuck up with the vegetarian movement. Bro, I... When I was a vegetarian and shit... If it's had, not chicken, don't call it fucking chicken. It's not a chicken nugget, dog. It's a tofu nugget. Or it's something else. And I mean, that's fine. You can say it's that. It's a veggie nugget. That, to me, makes sense. But quit calling shit shit it ain't. Yeah. Like, I will never forget somebody telling me, it's like, look, I can make vegan pulled pork. I'm like, how the hell you make vegan pulled pork? <laughs> and hell, oh, I use jackfruit. Then it's vegan pulled jackfruit. You're right. It's not pulled pork. It's pulled jackfruit. Why are you pretending to eat animals if you have such a moral issue with eating animals that's the weird part about it it's like you said oh i have a moral issue with eating animals but let's pretend Mm -hmm. do you understand how that's kind of even more sick it yeah i'm just saying oh man it it got to i was a vegan for a while bro and I got tired of making fake meat. <laughs> I was like, bro, this is going to be beans and rice, bro. I'm like, let's keep it fucking simple. Right, but like I said, I have no problem with vegan I mean, food that's just no, vegan. No, I, I understand what you mean. You know what I mean? It's just, okay, if I'm eating peas and carrots mixed together, it's vegan because it's fucking peas and carrots. But what made it worse You know what I mean? You quit trying to make shit into shit it ain't. What made it, what made it even <laughs> worse for me and shit is like, the vegan shit is such a fucking scam. The, the pre-made shit is such a fucking scam. For one, because one, it's like a lot of people go vegetarian and vegan for health reasons, you know what I mean? Not fuck the animal shit to do for health reasons, right? <clears throat> but a lot of them don't realize the fucking shit you can get packaged already has a shit ton of preservatives in it. Oh, yeah. Like a shit, shit ton. And like I tell people, like, bro, if you really want to do it, it takes time and fucking effort, bro. Like, for real, for real. It takes time and effort. Because if you want to eat non preservative beans and rice and shit, you got to soak them bitches overnight. You know what I mean? It's good no, shit, though. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's good shit. But I like, love me some. I take me a big-ass pot of pinto beans. But I'll tell you this. I don't make them vegan. I put a big-ass fucking half pound of bacon in there or a pound of bacon. I don't like bacon in my beans, bro. What? No. You I know, like bacon as bacon and keep it like that. I don't like bacon. I agree with that, too. 
You know what's even better than putting a, a bacon in bacon in there? What? A ham bone. Yeah. You ain't never done that? No, I, don't, I like to keep my vegetables and vegetables and my meats and meats. But look, no, know. look, like, what you do is, is you take and you throw the ham, like, after Christmas, yeah. you save the fucking ham bone. You don't throw that shit away. Mm-hmm. You, and then you take and you put it in a pot, you put beans in that pot, and then when you're <clears> cooking <throat> it, it seasons the water. I mean, yeah. Still, man, I just... It's like bone broth and all that. It gives, yeah. it gives it a good flavor. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's not. Uh, it's not really. You, yeah, it, I would say that it technically makes it no longer vegan, no, but it, it is definitely vegetarian yeah. still. Because you're not really in that situation where you're using the bones. There might be a couple of flakes of meat that flake mm-hmm. out, but like really, it's it's about seasoning the flavor. Yeah. You know what I mean? You and and a lot of meat. See, you know, uses seasoning seems to not be as big of a deal with vegetarians yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. Don't make any sense. Like Jello. Yeah. It's like fucking bones, dog. Yeah. I know they use the fats of animals, too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, bones and fats. And stuff. I mean, it's smart because they know the fat is very nutritious. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? It's like, but like, a, keep it simple, man. If you're really health conscious and shit, just be health conscious. I mean, you know, pay attention right. to your calories. You don't have to add all them to extra labels. You don't have to be vegan if mm-hmm. you're trying to be health conscious. You can like, watch your calories, conscious. watch your preservatives, eat your fruits and veggies and shit. Don't eat too many Doritos. Don't, don't eat too much salt and sweets and shit. And keep it simple, bro. Like, bro, it's, it's, it's simple. It sucks. I'm going to be real. Like, I'm, like, I'm going to be real, bro. Like, I'm a pretty fit dude now, but it sucked getting there. <laughs> I mean, it really sucked, but it was a good journey. I'm proud of myself. But let's get on to the, the, the really crux of the matter. What? Do you think... Alright, so... Yes, I promote steroids. Here's a question. My wife... She went and got me a Halloween costume. Yeah. Cute. I'm dressing as a hippie. Alright. Right, but like, and that's... That's that's wrong. No, bro. Like, see... See... That's kind of cheating, though. But you, you're going as a stereotype, though, man. You're but going, I am that stereotype. You're going, you're going as an exaggeration like, shit. But if people saw you outside yeah. of work and shit... They wouldn't really think you're a hippie hippie. You know what I mean? They think you're just some redneck. But like, you know what I mean? I'm keeping the glasses. I'm keeping the t-shirt. Like, I'm going to wear this unironically mm-hmm. outside of Halloween. Like, she went to get me a costume and went clothes shopping, dog. But no, I man, it's not a bad costume, bro. <laughs> I don't think it's a bad I'm costume. I'm not saying it's a bad costume. I'm saying I'm kind of cheating. No, you're not. I'm going, I'm going to Halloween as me. I'm not. I'm not even attacking her. I'm not even attacking that. I'm just saying the whole idea of it. No, you, see, you, you're worried about not just the rules of Halloween, but the scale of the costume. I believe. I mean, it's like the impact. It's like a motherfucker gets off work and goes to a Halloween party in his McDonald's fucking out uniform. Yes, technically, he can say he's in the costume. But the costume is what the fuck ever. But everyone around him is going to be like, this nigga just got off work. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But, you know, it, it, that that's the important part of Halloween, man. Like, feel like if you really like the costume, you really just want to go out there and stuff, and you feel like it's a costume, you can put a t-shirt on you, like I'm t-shirt man and shit. Like, that's Halloween. You know what I mean? I get what you mean. But now, people come at it as a Trying to win a costume contest type shit, you know what I mean? Oh, no, I don't care about winning no damn contest. Well, I don't care about that. Some people do, all right? But I always tell people, like, I always tell people, like, I never want to I can tell get, you a, an old story. I never wanted to go to a costume contest because it's basically how much money you put in your costume. I was you know in... I, mean? I was in a costume contest. hmm Once upon a time, when I was a young kid. And I was like, I'm going to win this bitch. 
So I went all out, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I just wanted to win one. I went all out, dog. I swear to God, I got makeup, everything. Fucking dressed up as a French maid. Swear. Went all out, dog. I lost to some bitch who wore... Well, it was a transgender individual. Mm -hmm. And they dressed up as Cinderella. And I swear to you, I heard one of my friends was literally like, yeah, I get how... It was like, I just was like, I don't understand why everybody's so, like, wowed that she showed up in a dress. Or, you know, he, he, I guess, showed up in a dress. Mm -hmm. And they were like, well... They never wear a dress. It's like, yeah, this is not my everyday apparel, dog. (laughs) You know what I mean? I'm like literally in hose and, you know, heels and everything, dog. Like, I was like... You had a beard, too? Yes. That's what made it the best. You dress as an ugly bitch. That's what you do. (laughs) Yes, and that was the point. (laughs) Holy shit. I remember that, dude. And I remember I was like... Like... It was like you know when the last time they wore a dress was. It's like when. I was like, I guarantee you, it was what? more recent than the last time I wore one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so if we're going for cross dressing here, and that's the that's the game. Mm-hmm. I feel like I won. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Although I will give, in the in the hindsight, the meta of the, but no, of the you know, did you know it was a dude in a Cinderella dress? What do you mean? Like I'm just saying, if it was convincing and shit. No, and that was the thing is, is like the costume was worn for all of 15 seconds at the party and then changed directly out of. Whereas I committed the duration of the party. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's why I was like, sometimes this woke shit gets out of hand where it's like, well, we gotta give this dub to this person. It's what's, it's what's right. And it's affirming. And it's like, but, but like, I was committed. <laughs> uh, right. I was committed and there was literally zero commitment there. Bitch. You know what I mean? Like, and, and that's kind of why I said at that point was probably the point where I was like, I'm not really committing to Halloween ever again. <laughs> but I mean, at the same time, I was like, 17? Yeah. Well, like I, said, I had no problem with that. Oh, I remember, uh, oh no. And I remember uh, this, this was before the trans thing, actually. Mm-hmm. So it was just a lesbian that was real uh, butchy oh, at this man. point. I remember having a conversation with this chick, and I swear when she was when she was, you know, yeah, it was her. I mean, I knew her both sides of this equation there, and I remember having the conversation, and it was like, I don't understand why these girls out here is what she's saying. So I don't understand why these girls out here won't just give it a try. You know what I mean? They might like being a, you know, they might like girls they don't know. Right? And I was like, I was like, well, why don't you try, have, have, why don't you try a dude? You might like him. You don't know. And she was yeah. like, that's a very good point. I was like, yeah, you know, if you expect others to accept your orientation, which they should, yeah. you should accept theirs. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> And that's kind of my point is that's what I've always said is like, you know, there is a lot of that that goes around and all of that kind of, you know, it's, it's just tribalism, pure and simple where it's like, well, in response to being treated like a bigot, I have to treat people like a bigot. And it's like that, that kind of shit really just. It ends up polarizing sides and creating yeah. stupid shit like super straights. I believe, I believe the whole sexual orientation thing is not just one way or another. I think it's like a scale. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like, 
It was like the I have a theory that it'll get us canceled. Hit me Just, out. Hit we me can out. talk about it next. <laughs> it's like it's like the ninety nine percent of dudes, right? It's okay. like yeah, he might be an okay looking guy, but I would never want to see him naked. I love only vagina. Then he got to go up a little bit. You'd be like, he's like, that's a very good looking man. Okay, let me I'll ask suck you this. Him off. Then you get closer and closer. You get the biceps was like right in the middle. It's like, yeah. And then you keep going up and shit. And then that's when you How get. many types of porn are there? There's a lot. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, do, would you say that you only like one type of porn? Where's there like several sets of categories that you like? Yeah, you see my if you see my porn my porn library. I don't need to see it. I just already know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's the case. Like, like no guy is just like I only watch Asian porn. Mm-hmm. No guy's doing that. you like, oh, today I'm gonna watch Asian. Maybe on Tuesday I'm gonna go ebony porn. And on Thursday, I'm going to watch some BBC and some white chicks. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody has, like, a different... They got a couple of different things that they like, right? Mm-hmm. I think that really what we we call sexual orientation and all this... Like, everybody's just got a collection of fetishes. Yeah. Some people have a fetish for straight missionary sex. That's so boring. And vanilla. Right. But that's what their fetish is. Mm-hmm. Right. And I would say that a majority of people honestly actually have a fetish for that. Because if you actually get down into it, and you enjoy it, and you actually love and lo- like or like the girl, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? There's some, there's something there to some straight missionary sex. It's vanilla. Now, there's also something to bending a bitch over and... You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's <laughs> different strokes for different... Folks, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Some people's fetish is a dude. Some people's fetish is a chick. It's mm-hmm. not relevant whether or not you're a dude or a chick. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, your fetish is a dude. Your fetish is a chick. Your fetish is, you know... What the fuck ever. Whatever. You see what I'm yeah. saying? That's really what it is. If it has a whole, and it's it has the a same, whole. It, it's the same thing. It's like when people kind of came forward forth with that whole thing. Well, what, if, what about transgender people? It's like, if you're a guy mm-hmm. and you don't accept... A male to female trans, right? Yeah. Then does that mean that you're a bigot because you're not accepting them as a real woman? It's like, no. It just means it's not in your fetish collection. It is in some. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Some people are fine with that. Futa is a big thing in Japan. It's a big thing in America. Yeah. But in my opinion, I really think it's, you know, like I said... It's like gay gay sex to me as a man to a man doesn't make much sense to me. Does as a as a woman to a woman. Why does it make more sense to me? Because I like women too. You see what I'm saying? It's that that to me it's like okay, now we get where we're going. It's like it guess what else doesn't make sense? People liking feet. I don't like feet. But at the end of the day, I don't have a problem mm-hmm. with people liking feet. Just like I don't have a problem with a dude liking a dude or a chick liking a chick. Hey, like I know a you lot. See what I'm of, saying? I know a lot of girls who watch gay porn. Just watch big and that's what I'm saying. Fucking. That's what they like. You know what I mean? Because they like mm-hmm. dudes. Big brother dudes just pounding each other, man. right? Just packing and, it in. And the thing when is, is they don't want to have gay sex with a with a dude because they're not gay. They're not. They're chick. They just like dudes. That's why I said that. That's where the fetish comes from. Is 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 that's 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 really what it is. It's yeah. like, you know, to me, I think that's really what it is. It's all just fetishes mm-hmm. that you you might have an assortment. And, and again, we're we're trying to label things that aren't as labelable. It's yeah. kind of like political ideologies. Yeah, you you got a spectrum there, right? Where you have different collections of all these different fetishes that might not fit in every little box. Yeah. It's like hell. All, all, yeah. all honestly, the whole LGBT is just the not the not straights. This is basically it is not, right, not, and that's what they're trying. And like, to... in like in all realities, really doesn't matter that that much because if, if it's all consensual, who gives a shit? Yeah, like it's not right, right? Right, yeah. As long as it's not even, right, go for it. I mean, even if it is, I hope it's consensual. <laughs> There's no yeah. such thing as consensual rape, dog. 
I was. You want to hear a story? <laughs> you want to hear a fucked up story? There's no such thing as consensual rape, dog. Okay, I'm not gonna get. No you. means no. Yes, even that time. <laughs> no, some girl. <laughs> some girl. She was a fucking. She was fucked up. <laughs> All right, little sweet old city girl next door type shit. Right. She said, "I just want you to." Just, Come in my house and take it from me. I'm like, listen, it's going to be at night, and I'm a black guy. And you want me to bust into your house and just take it from me? Listen, even if you're not, even if you're not bullshitting, why would I fucking take that risk? <laughs> like, one, I met. I met, I met some But that's not consensual rape. That's just like rape play is what they call yeah. it. Yeah. And again, that's some weird shit. Mm-hmm. I don't understand it. I really don't. But I don't like, have a problem with it because it's consensual. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's like that. There's bro. people it's who like that literally bro. like to be called racial slurs while they get just pounded. There's people out there that like that shit. Yes. It's like that one dude was that wears Timberlands all the time just spitting those girl faces. That's a thing? Yeah. I haven't like, seen that. Like bro, it's like a fuck it's like cast. I just count. know that, 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 that like I said, there's there's some weird stuff. You know, there's tentacle porn. Somebody sent me one of my friends uh sent me a, a thing where it was a uh it was a tentacle swear and it was like a freaking stroker. Are you talking about that dildo thing? Huh? Talking about that real life dildo thing? Oh. oh, oh. A stroker. For you to fuck. It had like a mouth look like leech. And you could like bend its little, uh, like it had the little freaking prongs. The mouth prongs like a leech, you know what I'm saying? The little four prongs and you could bend them over different ways so he you could do weird. different... He was a weird when it comes to sex and all, honestly. Bro, we, we, that's what I'm saying. People are into some weird shit, and as long as everybody's down with it, like, there's robots, dude. You can get robots now, sex robots. Yeah. They exist. Yeah. For men and women. What's the craziest? I'm trying to remember. And there's people out here trying to marry them. I never forget one girl. There's I, a guy called Brick Dollbanger. You mm-hmm. should look him up. Brick Dollbanger? Wouldn't it be great if that's actually his real name? <laughs> he was just destined for this life his whole <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I mean there's reviews on these different uh sex dolls and stuff. I listen to some some obscure ass podcast, dude. Oh my god, he was on one of them. <laughs> yeah, talking about how he got. I think he was he either. I think he got divorced. Mm-hmm. Is what he said. He got divorced, and his wife like, or you know, his wife left him, and he was like looking for more chicks, and he was like, "This is a lot of work." Yeah, dealing with women, and looked into it. Mm-hmm. And got a doll and started, you know, fucking the doll. And he was like, this is way better. Like, I, I can literally say, fuck this bitch and put her in the closet. <laughs> and then when, <laughs> then when I need her, just pull her out. Yeah. And then they come out with stuff where they, like, have literal, literally has control over this chick's personality. So he's like, if I want her to be nice to me today, I can make her nice to me. If I want her to be kind of a little bit of a cunt, I can make her a little bit of a cunt. He's like, I can do whatever I want to do, man. Yeah, it's gonna change up everything. Oh yeah, it's about to get it's about it's about to get really hard for the whole uh, repopulation thing. Yeah, fuck it. Hey, I mean, yeah, really, fuck it. Who knows? I'm on, I'm on a, I'm the fertility on. rate's going through going through the uh, floor right now. I, mm. and nobody's really talking about that one. I know. 
I'm just, I don't know, I think I'm like a little cynical and nihilistic about it. I'm just like, well. I'm good. I popped one out. Yeah, I popped one out. Nice. I just need one more to, to fix the replacement rate. It's, I don't even know. I don't know. My cousin helped you to a three. I don't know. I could just say fuck it. <laughs> I don't know how to explain There's it. There's a spare over there. I don't know how to explain it. It's like... We just going to be really dating just to fuck each other, man. After a while. Hmm? Like a lot of dudes are just going to be... It's not really many. It's well, that's that's kind of the thing is, is that, that's that's kind of the thing is, is people think that it's gonna make you know people not want to do that. Uh, I think what it's actually gonna end up being is a lot like relations ain't gonna be relied on sex. Like a homosexual homosexuality used to be a form of birth control. Like Rome and it was really big on that, and a lot of people don't actually know that. Yeah. It's like it wasn't that the Romans were gay or straight per se. Culturally, it wasn't really a thing. It was a just... thing. It was everybody did both, and you did both, and you did you, you did gay sex for fun, and you had real you know you had straight sex to have babies. Yeah. So like, and that was actually. Uh, And that was actually why, uh, that was actually why, <laughs> dang, y'all, y'all over here interrupting and stuff, but yeah, yeah, that was actually why, um, it was banned later on by the, uh, Jews when they did the, uh, in, in, uh, Israel, when yeah. they left out of Egypt was to, uh, preserve the numbers. Yeah, I made baby some of them. Uh, but yeah. What were we talking about? Uh, I lost my whole train of thought. Oh, about? the sex robots and the and the and the, and yeah, the man, I, yeah. I just feel like later on relationships are gonna be mainly for not it, it's like sex is just gonna be different. I mean, like you might still get married. You might still date this person. What if what happens? What if ha what you, happens is is we contract out the baby. Like like look, so like I'm sitting here chilling, and I'm like, bro, I'm trying to fuck. So I hit on my I hit on my app for the Uber that brings my little prostitute. Right? Yeah. I'm a little prostitute robot, right? Shows up at my door, right? Yeah. I beat that shit up, right? And then when I come, it deposits it in the prostitute, right? That prostitute then takes and cool storages it, right? Yeah. Takes that sperm, right, and saves it. And when a chick calls, she says, hey, I'm trying to get rammed out, but I'm also trying to get a baby out of it, right? Mm -hmm. So then the freaking... Listen to they take my sperm and they put it in the male robot and blow a load in her. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> but here, here's, here's my whole thing, man. <laughs> I just figured out the so I just solved the, the the end of the human race, bro. That is an excellent idea. Yeah, man. Cyberpunk it, bro. <laughs> you just gotta cyberpunk it, dude. Listen, man. Hit pause, bro. Anyway, so this is not going to be a long podcast. It's Halloween. It's a Halloween extravaganza. Yeah, I got to hang out with my booth, steal some candy from my kid. You going to steal some candy from your kid? Yeah, for my kid. On some trumped up reasons. They're like, bro, there might be a razor blade or something in this. No. You eat it. I saw that meme of shake my head. There's a whole nigga in my candy. <laughs>
<laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Bro, like, we were talking about that, like, if it was all a scheme to do this or that or... You know what I think that was a scheme for? What? That conspiracy that somebody's always trying to freaking mess with your kid's candy? Yeah. You know who I think that was on the part of? Who? The candy companies. Really? Think about it, man. Alright, why would they do that? Alright, look. If you're paranoid somebody's gonna put shit in your candy, right? What are you thinking? I gotta check this candy and make sure the wrapper's intact, right? Mm -hmm. Which means I'm no longer gonna accept the home-baked can cookies in mm -hmm. caramel apples and stuff like that that people used to do. I don't want that. I want the pre-packaged Snickers fun size. I want the pre-packaged Twizzlers. I want the pre-packaged candies. Yeah. Because I know those are safe. So they made it where no one wants the quote-unquote unsafe items so the people will no longer yeah, and provide we agree, the unsafe about it. items and instead will cave and go buy the candy to yeah. hand out. And when you really think about it and shit, that's, it, it, it couldn't have been that fucking... Just like, called? oh it my god, I need to talk about this. It you know something been that, I really want to go into? What? Go ahead, go ahead, go. No, I'm just saying it could have it had to have been like a really fucked up person. And it has, that means it has been like super rare, so like maybe a couple kids got hit. But like after a while, it's like you really think there's one person just putting razor blades in all this fucking candy? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that it never happened. Oh, uh, don't get me I'm wrong. Not I'm not saying, saying that there ain't some sick people. I don't believe. Out there. I don't. I don't I'm believe it happened that fucking in, common. I'm one. I, I'm saying it's one in two hundred and thirty million. That's the whole saying. population like of the U.S., rare. there might be one guy who's going to do that. Right. <laughs> like, it's a rare. It has to be too rare. Like, like the motherfucker licking ice cream at the fucking yeah. store. It's yeah. one guy but that ever did time, that. You, you get some, you get some <laughs> hysterical moms and shit. And be like, oh my God, my baby can't have candy. You know, you can get you can get the whole world to change and shit. It's like video games. You know, yeah, dog. You, you get one school shoot and everyone has to hate Doom. That's how it is, bro. Well, let me explain to you the newest exploitation of the rich. Oh, God. Phrased as a crackdown on the rich. Have you heard of the unrealized capital gains tax? What? Right. It doesn't even make any sense. How can you have gains on something that's unrealized? Right? So basically what it, what it is, is they're saying that if you hold stock and you, and you don't sell it, you don't make any money off of it, you just hold the stock. Right? You have to pay tax on what the stock is worth from you holding it. <laughs> now, the reason why, like, they're making this sound good to people is they're like, look, these people, this is a way to tax people like Jeff Bezos and all these people who are getting around paying their taxes mm -hmm. because they're just holding it in stocks and assets that just gather wealth. Right? Which, to an extent, is true. Right? But the, what they're not telling you is what that's going to do is it's going to create a stock dump at a very predictable time period every single quarter. Yeah. Right? And the reason why is because I'm going to have to take and sell off this stock to pay this tax. Do you see what I'm saying? And what, that, what that's going to cause is a predictable drop from all the retail investors paying their taxes. Right? That hedge funders, hedge funders are going to be able to swoop in, buy it, and inflate it back up. This real? This is dead real. Mm. Like I was just thinking about that. I was like, like literally, what they're doing is, is they're trying to make a stock crash that happens at a predictable time period, every time, straight by the government. They're literally creating a business cycle. On top of the ones that they've already created. You know, sometimes I feel like... And the only people who will be able to take advantage of it are the ones who are going to have a shitload of capital to just be able to go, uh, boom, and, and buy it. I think, and jump in and buy it when it's depressed. I think... I just feel like the when they try to fix problems, they try to fix the wrong problems. 
You know what I mean? I feel like they're tech. No, but that's no, no, that's no, what I'm trying up, to tell me you, me dude. Hear me out. Hear me the out. The woman who proposed this used to be the Fed chairman. She used to work for the big banks. It's not an accident. It's not like, oh, whoops, I, I didn't know that it could have that effect. No, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. It's supposed no, to look out, like man. it's misdirection, dog. Hear it me. looks like they're cutting the woman in half, but in reality, she's fine. Hear it's me magic. Out. Hear me out. Everyone, hear me out. I just feel like we don't really talk about the problem. It's like, is the problem that we have too many rich motherfuckers? Our problem is poor motherfucking hell. It's the Fed. <laughs> I mean, it's like the problem is the Fed. Yeah. The the, the problem is a hundred percent the Federal Reserve. You start going and looking into it, like actually look into that shit, bro. Like the money is tied to the wars. It's tied to the big banks. All of that stuff. It's all tied together. Yeah. Like. You, it's not like you could just sit here like all these people are like, man, we'd have money for universal health care if we weren't fighting these wars. If we didn't fight these wars, our our dollar would collapse. And if our dollar collapsed, we don't have the money for your health care either. So the sad part about it is, is without the wars, we don't have the money for anything. Mm-hmm. It's because we relied on... Uh, was that? It's because we relied on different countries to basically... Help us keep the no, because we're funding the country on IOUs, and we're stealing money out of the set. Like that's a, that's exactly what I'm talking about. They've set it up to where the inflation, you know, from them printing money and spending it on dumb stuff, the inflation is outpacing the normal dividends you could get from saving your money. So because it's outpacing that, the only way that you can save money is for you to save it in an asset. Right? Yeah. Which now they're going after with capital gains tax. So the only people who will be able to withstand withstand holding those assets are the wealthy wealthy. That Like right now with the way that the Fed has, has it set up, the poor have almost no hope of making it to the middle class. But, that's but the middle class has every hope of getting all the way to the wealthy. Mm-hmm. Right? Right now they're basically trying to chop off another rung of that ladder with this. That's what's going to end up happening. They're going to take and remove this 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 way of the middle class to get too wealthy, mm-hmm. and then the middle class and the poor will be in the same boat. But that's the thing is is this this is not a new idea. No, it's, it's they're scared because of the they're they're seeing the actual economic effects of the lockdown, and that's yeah. really what it is. The economic effects of the lockdown that have been realized in a lot of the developing world right now are starting to come back and affect us. And they're scared. And yeah. so they're really trying to figure out a way to cut loose the people they hate the most, which is the boar. It's a big club, and you're not in it, dude. George Carlin. Yeah. <laughs> that's why like I said that's why whenever a Republican's in there mm-hmm. or a Democrat it doesn't matter they're fighting the wars over there mm-hmm. that's why it doesn't matter they can talk all the shit they want and the second they take office it's like somebody finally whispers in their ear hey man let me explain to you how this shit works no, it's because and then they're like really? so yeah what, 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 do you, what do you explain what are you saying? you're saying if we pull out of the Middle East tomorrow we'll probably have bread lines? But no, but that's my thing. My thing, <laughs> my thing is, is that we elected them to be there, bro. I mean, but we didn't elect them to do that. I know, but the, that's still, that's exactly the point that I'm had, making. But we still had other candidates that knew it. I mean, knew. But, how but like, shit. my point is, if if you're if you're Trump, Trump ran on building the wall. Yeah. Is the wall there? No. Yeah. If you're Obama, Obama ran on pardoning Snowden. Did he do that? No. He ran on uh, shutting down Guant- Guantanamo Bay. Did yeah. he do that? No. Did he give us the Medicare? He said medical care. He said he was going to give us. No. Obamacare was nothing but a fucking sham to make insurance companies richer. Yeah. So if you go through all of it. None of these people have given you what they've promised for the yeah, last but this, fu- but that's fucking a- Bush ran on being a dove. He was like, we shouldn't be interfering with all these foreign nations. He ran on 
anti-war policy policies. Yeah, but that's my thing. Though. It's like they always hook their fans back in. Though. They always hook a fan base in. You know what I mean? But that's because that's because these people like, are holding on to hope that mm-hmm. these people are actually going to give them what they say they're going to give them. It feels like every time there's a new. There's a, there's a new, every four years, I feel like there's like two different new religions, bro. You know what I mean? Like die hard religion. Like that's my point, you know what I mean? It's because. It's team spirit, dog. You know what I mean? It's like we just let, we just let people continue to be the sheep and they're going to keep on voting for them and voting and voting without anything being fixed. You know what I mean? And honestly, <clears throat> and honestly. It's pure toxicity. Like, you know dude, I mean? commies. Like Karl Marx was a big uh, guns rights gun rights advocate. Yeah, he said that 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 the workers needed to be armed just in case the uh, the the wealthy were to come after them. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And the thing is, is libertarians are like we should we we're, you know a lot of these right libertarians, I guess as you would call them, mm-hmm. will say, hey, we're for you know the people being armed in case the government comes after them. And it's like, well, you're both for the right to bear arms. Why don't y'all band together to make sure that you, we have the right to bear arms? Look okay, at man. It's, and they're over here like, and they're like, no, but they want to use it for different reasons. Because now, and they want to use it for different reasons. Well, then you don't believe in the right to bear arms. Because, you believe in the right to bear arms to do what you want to do with it. Because, like I said, man, it's, it's <laughs> just religion to them. Now, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like you. We live in the South, bro. You you heard it all the time. It's like I don't trust them damn Catholics. I'm like you you're both it's just fucking like Christians, bro. Like <laughs> it's it's like all these motherfuckers coming out here. Here's another one. It's like well, freedom of speech. It's talking about the government, not 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 private oh, companies yeah. and all that. Freedom of speech is a fucking principle, dude. And you're over here like you're talking about the Constitution. I get what you're saying. You're talking about the law, mm-hmm. but the principle of freedom of speech is not. Relevant, whether we're talking about the government or any of that. Do you think people should be able to say what they think or fucking not? It's that simple. Mm-hmm. It is literally that simple. If you think that people should be able to say what they think, mm-hmm. you're for freedom of speech. No. If you think that there should be restrictions mm-hmm. on that, you are not for freedom of speech. Because Whether you think those restrictions should come from the government or whatever. Now, you can say they have the right to restrict. Mm-hmm. That's fair, and we but have, to say that it's okay to do so is not fair. And we, as a society, are, have the right to choose if it's okay to say in society. You know what I mean? It's like I really, I'm very re- the R word. You know what I mean? I really don't want to just blast that out there. I say it all the time in my outside world and stuff and everything, but saying it on a public format or anything like that, I try to refrain from using it. You know what I mean? Because I don't know everyone out there. I don't want to, like, rustle some feathers. You know what I mean? But when I'm with my black friends and stuff, you know, so I call them every racial slur I know. You know what I mean? Because that's how we talk. But people don't know... People need to understand is we as society have a right to not really sense the words, but to either accept them or not in everyday conversation. Right. You know like, I mean? it's, it's fair It's fair to say, hey, I don't want to hang out with this guy because I don't like the type of language that he uses. Yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. We're ta- I'm talking, like, but when I see what freedom I'm of speech, if is, someone wants to say an idea out there and stuff, they have the right to do it. Right. But we as a society have the right to say that's not acceptable or not. But my I mean? point is, is, you know, what like, I'm saying should, is, is you shouldn't encourage them getting shut down. No, no, that the, in the, speech. You know, you that's my line. Say, hey, I don't want to listen to that guy. You know, that's my line though. It's like I wouldn't. I don't want people to get canceled for it. Let them say a stupid fucking idea. You know what I mean? Right. Or a and I don't think what. I, but, and, and let me clarify the difference between cancellation and a boycott because I'm mm, a firm believer in a boycott. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I'm a firm believer in you don't like something, don't don't deal with it. Yeah. But the the difference to canceling is canceling is. Karening, mm. you're being a Karen, right? You're wanting to speak to the manager. You're not mm. going. You're not going and saying, "Hey, I'm not gonna fuck with this guy because mm. I don't like what he's about." You're saying, "I want to speak to whoever's in charge of this guy and get him fired." Mm-hmm. 
and help you. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and you can hear these people saying it. They'll literally, they'll literally put it under the comments. Let's find out where this guy works and get him fired. Yeah, I'm like, that's a little too far. And if it's like a celebrity or something like that, you know, big corporations are already pretty good about that. I mean, because they want your dollar. <laughs> So if you hear some, if you hear a guy say some sexy shit on Twitter and stuff, most likely he's not gonna have a job in the next hour. <laughs> James Gunn, he said right. some said some stupid shit on Twitter and stuff. Got fired by Disney instantly. I mean, hell, John Cena was trying. <laughs> Taiwan's not a country, then. You don't want that social credit score to go down for you. Don't say some shit like that. I have to smack the piss out you. Taiwan is a country. And the reason I say Taiwan is a country because it pisses off China. <laughs> like, I honestly have not done enough studies to know the socio-political situation mm-hmm. of China and Taiwan and who really has the claim on that land and what, what I think should be done with it. Uh, but, uh, fuck China. And that will be the end of our podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. Like, promise, subscribe. And fuck China. Peace. Yeah, and, uh, fuck Biden, too. My butthole is puckered for your daily enjoyment. Who, who, else, who else would you say fuck off to? Huh? Who else would you say fuck you to? Uh, fuck Brandon. Everybody keeps saying, let's go, Brandon. I say, fuck that dude. Uh, who else? Uh, Hitler. Fuck it. Fuck Hitler? Hitler. Fuck Hitler. No, fuck Woodrow Wilson. Yeah, fuck him, too. And FDR. Yeah, fuck him. Woodrow Wilson, worst president in U.S. history. FDR, oh, God. second worst president of U.S. history. Who else? You know, this fuck life. Kind of sucks. I have to pay bills and taxes. Getting paid not a lot of money for a lot of work. You seen that? No. I have to show it to you. Go ahead. And yeah, well, see you guys. In that out, dog.